Hello YouTube and welcome to a new text launch video. Motorola has introduced a successor to the Motorola One, a device that I did not really like. This time we got the Motorola Vision and Motorola did some things really right on this device. Some corrections were made. So we got Android One. So yes, you will get two years of Android updates and three years of Android security updates. A lot of fine print on the side telling us something about a 48 megapixel camera. We got two uh, EMIS numbers, so we got dual SIM. Uh, we got four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, and it's a bronze graded color. There are two colors, blue and bronze in this time. You get this little lightning shimmering design. On the back side, we get some more information about the device. 84 megapixel with an OIS, an optical image stabilization. 25 megapixel front facing camera, not with a notch, was only with uh, punch hole. Uh, 6.3 uh, 6 Full HD Plus display with uh, 21 to 9 aspect ratio. And the full resolution is, this is a spec sheet provided by Motorola, uh, 2520 times 1080. So we get 432 PPI. So finally, a high resolution display and 128 gigabytes of storage. So let's open up the box. This was provided by me from the um, German Motorola press agency. So this device has already been unboxed by them and checked by them. You get a case, a th clear see-through case from, uh, yeah, that fits the device. It does not really, it's like a see-through rubberish thing. And just look at it, you can't really see the color of the device. It just looks like a normal black device. So let's open up. Let's get rid of the case. So there we go. So now you can see this brownish, maybe copper color here. Uh, I have to say in a time where we only see black and white devices, this is nice in a time where we see a lot of colorful devices. Uh, that Motorola gives us a brown device is also a nice thing. So just something to mix the market a little bit up. We got our fingerprint scanner on the back side. We got our LED flashlight. We got our 84 megapixel sensor and a 5 megapixel sensor for more depth information. Both cameras standing a little bit out of the uh, case. On top, we got a microphone and we got a headphone jack, which is nice. On the left side, we get our SIM card uh, opening. And keep in mind, we only get uh, the chance. This is not a triple triple slot here. Just so that I can show you the, uh, the, the hard facts here. Um, not the hard facts, but the starter guide in the car. I don't know what the, car, what the language is. Wicked uh, Swedish, Danish, Norwegian or something. But I've already seen a picture of this that it's exactly. Uh, it's not a triple slot, so it's either on hybrid slot. So either two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one micro SD card. Uh, so um, down here we get microphone, USB Type C, and one speaker. This is a mono speaker device. And on the left side we got an off button, which I can reach, and volume down, volume up, sound bar, which I can't reach neither with my left index finger. So let's get rid of the foil, okay, and then turn the device on so that we can see the punch hole. So there we see it, Android One in green, oh, this is new, and the 25 megapixel front facing camera. So, oh, and the device has already been set up by the PR agency. So let's check, first of all, display. Let's change it up to five minutes. No, I don't want to test it. I just want to have a quick first look at the device. So in terms of display, it's okay for a 300 euro device. Oh, did I mention the price? 299 here in Europe, uh, so 300 euros, which is not a bad price. So a bad price for a 128 gigabytes uh, storage device. Full uh, glass on the backside, but glass maybe, it could also be plastic, but I have read somewhere it should be a glass backside. Yes, 48 megapixel camera, which also records 4K videos, USB Type-C, one mono speaker, Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, it got NFC, so, and ooh, turbo charge, but only 15 watt turbo charge. Speaking about the charger, what else is in the box? We got the K-wired uh, in-ear headphones uh, with different earpieces. 
we get a USB, normal USB to USB type C cable. We get our SIM card tool. Oh, new design here by Motorola. And uh, we get our charger, branded Motorola Turbo Power, normal USB port with an output of uh, 12 volt, 1.8 ampere. So it's uh, an 18, uh, 1.5 ampere. So it's an 18 watt charger. So 18 watt charger, and we got 15 watt turbo power charging on the Motorola One here. So first impression of the device, nice. I mean, it looks okay. Of course, with this 21 to 9 aspect ratio, it's a long device. This is the same device, uh, same aspect ratio as Motorola, as uh, that Sony is using on the new devices. So Motorola is also, because this is the reason why they call it Vision, uh, they're going to want to do this whole cinematic thing. And if you hold it horizontally, this feels a little bit strange. This is definitely a long device or a wide device if you hold it this way. Um, maybe a little bit skeptical here at the moment, but I will of course figure it out. Of course, you get all the nice Motorola gestures and features, starting the camera, doing all this, doing stuff for, for activating all the Motorola things. Um, first impression, it's nice, but two things. First of all, the aspect ratio, and the other thing is the, uh, the Samsung Exynos 9609 ZOC that's built in if this device is enough power. But on the other side, it's an Android One device, so it should run smoothly and uh, get all the updates in the next years. But uh, this is something I will figure out. Not maybe the updates, but how this device will perform uh, during daytime with the 3500 mAh battery and no wireless charging. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.